something that's ridiculously easy to match that mole coloradito. It's a mashed potato cazuela. I'm gonna salt this water. And this mashed potato cazuela is so traditional of the Istmo de Tehuantepec, that region of Oaxaca where the women rule more than anywhere else in the world. To begin, I'm gonna cook three pounds of potatoes that I cut into bite-sized pieces for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're soft. I'm gonna do about a cup of chopped white onion and that's gonna season the cazuela. And since I already added three tablespoons of butter in there, I need to chop that onion fast. And I'm adding a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of Mexican crema. You can find it, you just need to look for it, it's there. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of yellow mustard. I know, I was asking myself the same thing. Like, what's the deal with the yellow mustard in Oaxaca? Oaxaca, like all of the regions from Mexico, developed a cuisine between the old world and the new world. And one of the ingredients that really grew strong roots in Oaxaca is yellow mustard. Into the boiling water, I'm gonna add a half a pound of chopped carrots. And they're just gonna cook for one minute. And I'm gonna lightly beat one egg. It's just gonna help the potato casserole bind a little bit better as it bakes in the oven. have the carrots, and now I have one cup of fresh peas. I'm just gonna cook them for 30 seconds. I don't want them to get too mushy. I'm gonna add a third of a cup each of chopped manzanilla olives stuffed with pimentos and chopped pickled jalapenos. You could Put these in a baking dish and make it a gigantic cazuela, or you can put these in ramekins and make individual cazuelita. And now these go in the oven, which is at 350 for about 20 minutes. You can have the mashed potato mini casserole here or you can add some of it onto your plate because it is begging to be drenched in that same sauce. Mm. And the mashed potato still has the chunks of the potato that are so nice to bite into and then it has the bites of carrot and peas, and it's savory from the olives, and the pickled jalapenos, like such a nice surprise, and just everything together is. Mm. La Costeña. More information at mexicorico.com.